Namaste. My name is Steph, and this Yoga Nidra practice is very special, as it is meant to celebrate all the moms out there and all the women in mothering roles. This practice is meant just for you to take some time out of your day to invite rest, to recharge, and to rejuvenate. Yoga Nidra is an ancient practice in which it is believed that resting is our birthright. In this modern world we are living in, mothers can feel guilt, shame, and resistance towards resting. But for these next 30 minutes, I dare you to let yourself completely give into resting. The ripple effects of giving yourself this time are real. Your nervous system will thank you. Your body will thank you. Your soul will thank you. Some of you may find this hard, but I urge you to get past the uncomfortability to get to the other side of the gift of radiance that comes with deep rest. I promise you, your nervous system will thank you. The intention in Nidra is to achieve an effortless presence of being, to drop out of your thinking mind and into your body, to truly be with yourself. Let's begin with taking three physiological sighs, which are two sips of air in through your nose and a long exhale out through your mouth. And again. One last time. We will begin with a sankalpa. A sankalpa is your heart's desire, a sacred vow to yourself. If you are not working with a sankalpa right now, perhaps using I am loving, compassionate, and resilient. Say your sankalpa three times silently to yourself. Let's begin with the rotation of consciousness. This is designed to get you out of your thinking mind and into your body. When you hear a body part mentioned, bring your attention and awareness to this body part. If you want to go deeper, picture a tiny star brilliantly shining where the body part is. Starting with the mind's eye center between your eyebrows, picture a star shining so bright here. And then rotate the shining star to your forehead. Scalp. Your entire head tingling with sensation. Bring attention and awareness to both ears. Both ears listening simultaneously. Nose. Mouth. Upper lip. Lower lip. Throat center, shining tiny star at the base of your throat. Bring your attention and awareness 
to your collarbone. Right shoulder. Elbow. Wrist. Palm of your hand. All of the fingers of the right hand. Bring attention and awareness to all of your fingertips. Left shoulder. Elbow. Wrist. Palm of the left hand. All of the fingers. Bring attention to all of your fingertips. Right side waist. Hip. Knee. Shin. Ankle. Attention and awareness to your entire right foot and all of the toes. Left side waist. Hip. Knee, shin, ankle, attention and awareness to your entire left foot and all of the toes. Bring attention and awareness to your heart center shimmering, beautiful light coming from your heart center. Visualizing a bright, bright star here at your heart and a deep knowing that this star is always burning here. It never extinguishes. Noticing your breath here gentle flowing breaths nice and easy and unforced breathing in breathing out and begin to count down in your mind from seven to one inhale seven Exhale, seven. Inhale, six. Exhale, six. And keep going at your own pace now. Moving now into sensing opposites. First, sensing worry and the feeling of your forehead feeling tense and the muscles around your eyes tensing with worry. Your jaw tensing, worry taking over all of your facial muscles. And then sensing the feeling of trusting and letting the worries go from your facial muscles. 
sensing your forehead releasing, jaw releasing, trusting in the universe, surrendering and trusting, letting yourself lean into trust, releasing any tension in your neck, face and shoulders. Coming back to sensing worry and furrowing your eyebrows and bringing your shoulders towards your ears. Sensing immense worry. And then in three, two, one, letting the worries go. Completely and swiftly, as fast as they came, leaning into trust and letting your shoulders ease back away from your ears, unfurrowing your eyebrows and visualizing trust, trusting the universe, trusting that you are okay. Trust. that you have been taken through a rotation of consciousness, breath awareness, and you have sensed opposite feelings, you are hopefully feeling more at peace, more in a parasympathetic state, and ready to really listen to your inner self, ready to fully take in the love that you deserve. You are so many things to so many people. You have so many roles and titles and tasks to complete. You have to be a Jane of all trades, it seems sometimes. And sometimes you feel like you are going everywhere all at once. But this is your invitation to know that it is your birthright to rest, that taking time every day to invite rest and peace into your life will have an enormous positive ripple effect on your job, your family, your spiritual health, your mental health, your friendships, and your children. If you were to search your soul right now and truly ask yourself, what is one thing I can do for myself every day that will promote more rest and peace into my life? What would you say? Can you commit to your own soul and do this one thing? Taking time now to acknowledge your strength. Taking time now to truly appreciate yourself, to be in awe of you, taking time now to recognize that you are a warrior in every sense of the word, taking time now to realize that showing vulnerability ultimately gives everyone around you permission to be vulnerable as well. Taking time now to see that sometimes asking for help may be the most freeing thing you can do for yourself. 
taking time now to fully see that your laugh, your joy is necessary in this world. Taking time now to embrace the fact that your well-being, your health is ultimately what is most important. Without your health, you can't be who and what you want to be in the fullest capacity. So take care of you. Take care of you. You matter. You matter so much. Thank you for giving so much. Thank you for sacrificing. Thank you for nurturing. Thank you for enduring. Thank you for protecting. Thank you for your intuition. Thank you for your compassion. Thank you for your wisdom. Thank you for never giving up. For your giving, sacrificing, nurturing, protecting, intuition, compassion, wisdom, and so much more is what keeps the ripple effect of peace and love going and going. Never underestimate the power you have, the power you possess to truly make a difference. You are a difference maker and the world is better for having you in it. Please don't forget that. Taking some slow, deep breaths here and perhaps putting your hands over your heart and basking here in this bliss, in this pure radiance of your being. You are in your brilliance in this moment. Stay here a little longer and soak up the peace you have created here today within yourself. Repeat the one thing you are going to commit to do for your rest and peace. Repeat your sankalpa, or perhaps you have something that came up during the practice. Repeat that to yourself now. And now taking a deep breath in through your nose, letting it go with a big, big sigh. One more time. And now begin to sense the earth beneath you 
and the room around you. Take time to slowly move your head from side to side. Perhaps taking time to gently rub your ears or gently massage your jaw and temples. Maybe even shaking out your arms and your legs, doing small circles with your wrists and your ankles, just slowly waking yourself up. And when you are ready, and only then, begin to flutter your eyes open and rejoin the waking world. I hope this practice has left you feeling renewed, refreshed, and rejuvenated. I hope you feel inspired to be exactly who you are. And most importantly, I hope you are kind to yourself. Feel free to share this practice and let me know how this practice felt for you in your mind, body, and spirit. I love hearing from you. And remember, I am here to support your yoga nidra journey. Feel free to message me anytime. Keep leading with your heart and its infinite wisdom. And thank you for being exactly you. Namaste.